Since its public launch in 2009, the cryptocurrency Bitcoin has risen dramatically in value. As of October 2021, one Bitcoin sells for more than 60,000 US dollars. Bitcoin isn't the only cryptocurrency out there, but it is the most well-known among over 5,000 cryptocurrencies. Cryptocurrency enthusiasts believe that unlike the dollar or rupee and other such fiat currencies issued by central banks, the limited supply of private cryptocurrencies makes them a lot more valuable. Many even expect private cryptocurrencies to replace fiat currencies at some point in the future. Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies have also been growing rapidly in India over the past few years. According to some estimates, over 10 crore Indians own cryptocurrencies, making India the country with the largest number of Bitcoin holders in the world. In 2018, the RBI banned banks and other regulated financial entities from dealing with clients who handled private cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin. However, the Supreme Court in 2020 overturned the RBI's order. Following this, trading volumes in popular crypto exchange platforms such as Wazirex grew multifold within weeks. Other popular Indian platforms that have emerged to facilitate trading in cryptocurrencies include Coinswitch Kuber, CoinDCX, ZPay, and BuyUCoin. Coinswitch Kuber and CoinDCX have in fact managed to achieve unicorn status with their valuations crossing the 1 billion US dollar milestone recently. Despite regulatory uncertainties, these companies are confident that India is a viable market for cryptocurrencies because they see huge potential among the predominantly young population. Bitcoin enthusiasts see the rise in the price as a validation of their belief that private cryptocurrencies are a viable alternative to fiat currencies. Bitcoin skeptics, however, argue that scarcity alone is not a sufficient condition for an asset to be widely accepted as money. They see the meteoric rise in the price of Bitcoin as driven by speculative mania rather than by the fundamental value. The biggest threat to private cryptocurrencies going forward will come from governments. The power that governments have over the issuance of money gives them the ability to manage budget deficits and aggregate demand in the economy. Such privileges would cease to exist in a world where private currencies actively compete against fiat currencies. So, it is highly unlikely that governments will allow private cryptocurrencies to flourish as alternative money. In India, it should be noted that the 2018 Supreme Court order does not put an end to the primary uncertainty over the legal status of private cryptocurrencies. The centre may well pass a new law that either completely bans or heavily restricts private currencies. China has already deemed all private cryptocurrencies as illegal and banned them. It soon plans to issue a central bank digital currency that is based on the same blockchain technology on which private cryptocurrencies work. More governments may adopt the same approach in the coming years.